Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. Many people wonder when you can start doing the cut and come again method with the lettuce. Like what size do they have to get and how much can you harvest? So today we're gonna be talking about that. I'm gonna pick some of these for a salad. I'll bring you guys in. So I have already harvested quite a few leaves from these over the last couple weeks with the cut and come again method. You really don't have to wait too long. A lot of people want to wait till they're really large. You really don't have to. Lettuce is quite resilient. So what you're doing is you're just looking for the older of the leaves and you're just pinching them off. Okay, so then you can start harvesting what you need. And of course, if you've got enough plants, don't harvest all from one plant. Let those sit so that way they can get enough sunlight. Probably getting gorgeously tanned in summer. And grow back again. And of course, if you got any funky looking leaves, you don't want to eat those. So you're just picking more from the bottom, the older leaves here, like so. And I wouldn't necessarily say that there's any specific timing, but you just want to make sure that the plants are healthy enough that they will be able to grow back, that there's enough foliage when you pick for them to get enough sunlight. You could use some sharper scissors. That'll probably keep the plants a little healthier, but I find that they they really don't have, a, lettuce doesn't really have a lot of diseases that I have to worry about too much. Well, there we go. As you can see, I got quite a bit here, enough for a good salad. I'm actually gonna pick a little bit of arugula over there too to spice it up. Nice and spicy, huh? It really didn't do much to this bed here. Almost looks like I didn't pick anything. They're not necessarily looking too sparse. They'll be able to grow back really easily, really quickly. And generally I can do this once every three or four days with this bed. Now, if you had more lettuce, you could do that with multiple rows um, almost daily, which I'll be able to do soon, of course, once these all kind of grow a little better here. So here is arugula and these are much younger. However, I can still do the cut and come again method. So I'm just picking maybe one, one or two leaves from each and just use your fingernail to kind of cut it when you go to pinch it, just put your fingernail against the pad of your finger, like so, and then pinch off like that, and it'll be a much cleaner cut. Got a nice little salad going here, and I didn't have to dig up any of my plants. You could even start with something this young. Again, this is the same age as the, the arugula, but there's less leaves, and you could pinch off. In fact, I'll do that. I'll show you guys what I mean here. Could just pinch off one on each one of these as you go, and that's not going to damage the plant. There's plenty of leaves to be able to gather the light and these aren't that old they're maybe a month old so you can start pretty pretty quickly in fact i probably if i had planted these seeds in the ground instead of transplants like i did i would say probably two or three weeks i would have been able to but like i said every single variety grows at different speeds so for instance here i would do it and these are the same age i wouldn't do it with these they're just a little too small and I want to make sure they're, they grow up a little better. These have been in the ground for quite a while, or in the pot, I guess. And I can start picking some of these. So once the, the plants mature more, you can come through maybe every other day for each plant because they really start kicking up and growing quite a bit. So there we go. That is the cut and come again method. I've got myself a nice little salad. I still have all the plants in the ground, so in another couple days I can come through and pick some more salad. And I kind of lightly picked, I could actually come through and pick even more if I wanted. So in reality, probably tomorrow, I probably could come through and get another salad if I wanted. And it's not going to damage these plants, they're doing really well. There's really no issue with that, as long as you don't cut them back to the point where there's just not enough leaves for them to get the sun and continue to grow. You don't want to shock them too much, of course. And if you want a good example of definitely do not pick for the cut and come again method, it would be something this small. Definitely not. You don't want to do that because first off, you're not getting any sizable leaves. This is the same variety as this right here, uh, but there's just no sizable leaves. They're not there for us to be able to make a salad that's worthwhile. And also that's going to damage these young plants. You want to wait until they're a little bigger. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative. Thanks for coming along and watching. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and also hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.